So I've been getting a lot of requests for a six month update on the R8. And it's hard to believe I've had this car for six months already. It's really flown by and has just been such an amazing, fun car to drive. Um, it is so comfortable. It's as fast as I could ever expect. And it's got the looks too. But really, the comfort is what sets it apart. I really enjoy driving the car. So I put a little bit over a thousand miles on. All that I've done was I had to take it in for a LED module reprogramming. It, it was under warranty, so it wasn't any cost. I did an oil change. I used an independent down here in South Florida. Cost was like $230. The dealership wanted like, I wanna say 375, somewhere around there. And, uh, I just didn't think that there was any value in getting oil from the dealer versus oil from the independent. They wound up using uh, Castrol. Um, actually, I take that back. They used Liqui Moly, and I took the M5 there as well. The M5, just if anybody's interested, uh, was $189 for that oil change. And they don't charge you based on the value of the car, they charge you based on the amount of oil that it takes. So. Obviously a V8's gonna be a little bit smaller and have a little bit more of a reservoir than a V10. So um, maybe not in all cases, but in this case, that's the case. So anyway, um, regarding the car, um, it's, it's just been great. It, it drives well in wet weather, dry weather. It, uh, it sounds good all the time. Nighttime, the lighting is spectacular. I love how you hit that one button that I pointed out in the introduction video to the car uh, on the, to the left of the headlights and it spreads the beam. And it's just been, it's just been a ton of rear. It's it just, it's just really nice, very subdued. Ferrari does an amazing job with their interiors though, I have to say. I, I love the choices of materials in, in those cars. But this is just a very different car. Lots of lots of the dry carbon fiber, really all throughout the car. Even in the areas that, you know, when you close the door, you can't even really see this, but around the vents, the attention to detail and the stitching is great. And I mean, this isn't a limited production car. This is a mass produced car for the most part. And uh, they, they really, killed it with the fit and finish and, and I mean that in a good way visibility is good out the rear mirrors are, are plenty good and uh, seeing over the hood is really no problem the car is very drivable I did the puddle lights on here with the R8 easy upgrade available on eBay Nice thud when you close the door. Plenty of room in the front. If you, uh, here I'll go ahead and open it. I think I have my car cover in there. But I'll show you guys what's in there. Plenty of room. And the car cover isn't in there. And that toolbox isn't in there definitely fit a standard carry-on in here, plus some other stuff on top of it. So, car is very usable as a daily, although I don't. I, uh, I do try and drive it two, three times a week, but um, I'll push that down the second you do have to kind of lean into it to get it pushed down. So, I thought about doing the seat belts changing them to either a black with a red stripe or solid red. I just having a tough time getting myself to, to do that because for some reason I have the feeling that when I go and pull them out, I have the feeling it's going to throw some kind of a code and I'm going to wind up at the dealer for the ballistic part of the seatbelt, which which locks it into place in the event of an accident. I, I, for some reason, I have it in my head that that's gonna throw a code when I unplug it. So um, I guess I could disconnect the battery and solve that. But um, 
that, that modification just isn't exciting me right now. So we'll get the wheels in, we'll see how that goes. I'm not looking to do any kind of crazy twin turbocharging to this or anything. I, I, like I said, you, you exceed the speed limit pretty much um, when you get on the gas within a second and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a ride to lunch and you guys will join me for that ride. Here comes the lukewarm start because I've already had the car out today. So I will say yeah, I'm a little picky about making sure the car stays in good condition. So I do have to park far away from the rest of the crowd. Every once in a while you will get somebody who will park right next to you, which is it's a little annoying. Um, it'd be nice if they parked one spot away. I do, I do love when I get compliments on the car, which, which is frequently. And uh, much appreciated. If you ever see me out and about, feel free to come over and say hi if you're in South Florida. I'd love to chat with you about cars or whatever. And uh, anyway, can't say enough good things about the car. I do love the, the pops. I've gotten better at recreating them. Um, especially in first gear, it, it really sounds insane. Um, I think we're going to need some of those here. Do it. Yeah, amazing. Just amazing. Love it. It's just, the sound is just incredible coming from that Lamborghini Audi collab V10. You know, this, the, the multimedia system is really great. I gotta tell you though, it does get confusing getting into the deeper menus. There's multiple ways to access these different menus, whether you access it down here um, or from the buttons on the steering wheel. It just, it just, there's a lot to do. If like, say for example, I didn't wanna have the mirrors fold in anymore when I parked the car and I wanted to go in and change that. and you know, because I don't do that every day, probably took a few minutes of hunting around to find that menu within the vehicle settings. But all in all, this this has been amazing. Um, you know, you hit this view button here and it swaps it out for like an amazing different um, nav display. Oops. There you go. Uh, another thing that I'll say about the car is regarding speed bumps, it, it's not bad. Like, you, I, I'm going 11, I probably could be going 20 over it and I won't bottom out. And these are pretty big speed bumps. Uh, I'll show you one up here and it, it just handles it fine. I was a little bit worried that, you know, because this car doesn't come with an option for a lift, that it, it would bottom out, but it doesn't. So. faster than I should, but it's another thing about the car that you can't help is driving it, you wind up going over the speed limit within like a second and a half. You get a lot of thumbs up with the car, which is really nice too. A lot of smiles. It handles like it's on rails. done gas wise yeah it's a gas hog but if you're worried about gas um, you should get an electric car seriously um, this this thing probably does combined 
you know, 14, 15 miles per gallon. I feel like I'm, I'm at the pump fairly regularly. I like to keep it full, so that probably doesn't help the cause too much. But um, let me know what else you guys would like to see me do with the car. I've taken it to some car shows. I, I don't film it because I don't really know that anybody really wants to watch videos of me at a car show filming other people's cars. I looked at video, or I looked at the views from when I did the Broward Lamborghini show, and I really didn't get a lot of views from it, so um, I was thinking of taking it to the track. I think that might be fun to show you guys, you know, just leave the dash cam on and, uh, and just run around the track and see what she can do. And uh, might also be fun to do the drag strip, too. See how it measures up to a McLaren. It'd be interesting to see if I could beat a 570 and then watch me get crushed by a 720. And uh, not, I'm not looking to do a tune to this. I don't think you can get a whole lot more out of, out of the engine. This being a plus, rated at somewhere around 610 horsepower. But... I am doing the wheels. The wheels should be here by the end of January, and I'll do a video of the um, wheel installation. So uh, that's something that I will be happy to show you guys. Lots of pops. Love the pops. I think that's my favorite thing about the car. I know that might be juvenile, but I really love the sound. I must say, though, that, man, I think I think the, the V12 is just, just the best sounding engine, whether from Lambo or from Ferrari. The, I've been hearing those Ferraris lately, the F12 Berlinettas with the, um, I think it's, is it the IPE exhaust? No, 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 I'm sorry, Frequency Intelligence. It's, I believe that's like a Hong Kong manufacturer of exhaust. And man, they just sound like F1 race cars, just amazing. So, uh, huge fan, absolutely a huge fan of those. All right, this spot should do. I've been getting some feedback from the brakes um, which is weird when they're not heated up. Let me know in the comments below if that's normal. Um, if I'm at slow speeds, at slow speeds I get feedback. Like the brakes will, they won't squeal, but they'll kind of groan. So let me know if that's normal. I don't really want to take it into the dealership for that if it's normal. And uh, it, it seems like it is, because at high speeds, it's fine. It's just like, it, you know, when the brakes aren't super hot and it's low speeds, I get some non-standard noise that I've not had in any other car. So, um, all right, I'm, I'm grabbing lunch. Uh, maybe we'll throw a food vlog in here. The stereo sounds amazing. I haven't said it already, but it sounds amazing. I did a carbon ceramic coating twice on the car. I bought it from Amazon, 20 bucks. If you're interested, leave a comment below and I'll, uh, I'll send you a link to it. But literally 20 bucks, I put it on twice, the car looks amazing. It's not even perfectly clean now, but the feel of the paint, it literally, I don't know, it feels like it has a total protective coating over the whole car, aside from your um, PPF up front. Alright, off to lunch. Have a agave. Love their shrimp tacos. Wow, I am so full. Cool. That was great. So why new wheels? Well, these wheels are great looking, but they're just a little too pretty for me. And you can't see enough of the caliper and rotor. And the carbon ceramics look awesome. So I'm gonna get the Brett, um, Vorsteiner, which I showed in a previous video. And I'm gonna get new tires too. I'm gonna go with the Michelin Pilot 4S's. So 
those will be brand new. I'll keep these. I'll keep the P0s mounted. I can use them if I go to a track or whatever to tear them up a little bit. But um, that's the plan. Again, I would appreciate any comments on additional suggestions for content with the car. And uh, as always, have a great day. And I appreciate your viewing and supporting the channel. Until next time, guys. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.